I feel bad. I don't want to move the chicky. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to Lolo's Farm. Today we're starting on a project that we're both so, so excited to start. We just need to do a few morning chores and then we can get after it. Good morning, my pregnant little beauties. Listen, if we're gonna do this, we just have to cook more in here than pizza. Of course. I just feel like all this effort to just make bread. pizza. We're gonna make I just picture like roasting a chicken. So we're building a pizza oven. This is gonna be a lot, a lot of work. And that's why I wanna make sure that we use it for more than just pizza, because this is gonna take a good amount of time and it's gonna take a lot of effort, a lot of brain power. You take five, I got one. <laughs> I am really, really excited to build this, but in all honesty, I'm pretty intimidated. We haven't done a lot of block work yet. Done a lot of stuff with metal, done a lot of stuff with plysem. We did some with wood, but barely any with brick. So there's gonna be a lot of learning that goes on in this, but you gotta start somewhere. And I guess for us, that's gonna be on this pizza oven. Today is gonna to be a serious workout. I remember the last time we were bringing down a bunch of bricks, it was when we were doing something with the workshop. But uh, it's crazy, just, just going up and down our hill from where the top of our land is to our workshop is just a workout in itself. Never mind carrying a bunch of bricks up and down. <laughs> almost 1.30 and Sadie just went down for her first nap of the day, which is so unlike her. Usually she takes a really long nap earlier in the day, but she's in her crib. She's been doing so good taking naps in her crib during the day. She's still struggling at night. And Kaylee wants to frost the cake, as she calls it, or lay a few blocks. <laughs> definitely another one of those things that's just very slow going in the beginning. We're setting the foundation down, we're getting the, the, a rhythm going, and then I think the pace will start to pick up a little bit more and more. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> this may just be one of those projects where we're like, ah, we'll be, 
making pizza in a week and it's like three weeks later. <laughs> guys tell that I have a coconut water addiction yet? <laughs> I know, that's a nice base, huh, Sade? There'll be pizza made over there for you. Probably your first pizza you ever eat will be made right there. <laughs> what do you think of that? Looks pretty darn good, honey buns. That's it for the day. The base is done. Now we just need to go up, and that's gonna be a lot easier, because we really have to make sure that every single block was level to each other. This patio is slanted. It runs that way, so the water drains off. So we had to kind of build up every single block specifically to make every block level to each other, and they are. But now I think it's a good thing to let it all dry, let it all set. I put all the leftover mortar in between all the blocks, and tomorrow we'll start going vertical. And that'll be a lot easier because it'll be a lot less measuring. We already have the form all done. Now we just need to do three rows of blocks up, and that'll be it for the base. So we just had an amazing little evening with our amigos. I freaking love how like I feel like our friends here, we can just reach out to them literally like an hour before. Just be like, hey, you wanna have a pizza game night? And they're like, okay. And then they're here in an hour. <laughs> and now it's time for us to hit the hay. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's another beautiful day here on Lola's farm. As you can see, I am baby free right now. And so is Jordan. <laughs> So we came up with a plan that um, as much as possible, Adriana is going to take Sadie in the mornings from 9 to 11 just to allow Jordan and I to get as much stuff done as possible um, without having a baby around. Especially things like welding and working with concrete. We don't want her around for this stuff, so um, it's good. And she'll learn Spanish with Adriana, which is also very important. tongue is in action you guys. The tongue is in action. <laughs> That's better.
There it is. Two rows, one more to go. So you guys can get a little bit of a layout. The pizza oven's gonna go right here over this box, the part that's closed in. And then we're gonna have a little counter here and a little, little counter here with wood storage underneath. I figured the counters were important for making pizza because I really don't want to make the dough or stretch the dough in there. I'd much rather do it outside because it does make a mess. So having a little counter space here will save the inside of our workshop and stop flour from getting everywhere. Right. We have a little surprise for you guys. We're actually about to go and hop on an airplane right now. We got a flight that we need to catch and we got to head out of the farm. You're gonna be a good girl and stay. We'll be back tomorrow, okay? We're going to Panama City. We still got some stuff to do for our residency. We have residency here in Panama, but we don't have our permanent IDs. We just found out that they're ready for us to go and get them. So we gotta take a quick trip to the city, which I kinda like going to the city. You know, we live out in the country, we live out in, the, in farmland. And this is the great thing about having good friends, living with good friends, living in a little community, is we can just leave and everything here is okay. The goats are okay, Lola's okay. <laughs> So Jordan and I left extra super early because we wanted to make sure we had enough time and of course to stop for some snacks. Snacks are always crucial. So Jordan's like, why don't we stop at Morton's Bakery, which is like one of the most sought after bakeries here in town. I said, all right, what should we get? He says, why don't you get a loaf of sourdough? So I went and I bought a loaf of sourdough. And then afterwards he goes, why would you get a loaf of sourdough? We're not gonna be able to eat that before the plane. My thought was we were gonna be able to put, bring it on the plane, honey. <laughs> you guys think the odds are that they let us on the plane with an entire loaf of sourdough bread? <laughs> I'm not proud to say that there's no need for us to bring the sourdough onto the plane because we ate the entire loaf on the way here. <laughs> <laughs> High up in the sky, we're going on an airplane. Gracias. If you guys have never seen Panama City before, we're in the coolest part of Panama City. This is Casco Viejo. This is like the old town. It's all old architecture. It looks like, it looks like kind of like Madrid or like Barcelona. It's very, very Spanish. You guys want to see what a $60 Airbnb looks like in Panama City? You're so good today. You're such a good little traveler already. And that's it from the city. We're going to bed, and then tomorrow we're waking up and we're getting our permanent residency card so they can never kick us out of this damn country. We're gonna be super legit. We're gonna be super Panamanian. <laughs> we actually, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be citizens. We're gonna be permanent residents. But that's all we got for you guys. We Thank love you, you guys so much. Thank you so much for following along. We'll see you next time.